It comes from so far. We are Africa, so we are over here, sir. You understand? So coming from so far, it Africa have a spiritual connection. Them really take I and I out of Africa, but them couldn't take Africa out of I and I said, you know? The Ayabingi is thousands of years old. It's not a hundred year thing limited to Jamaica. Uh, if you will research Queen Muhumusa, who did not inaugurate but recalled the Ayabingi, like Ayla Selassie also. The history of the Ayabingi comes from Queen Ayabingi, come from Kikese, Uganda. She was a great drummer and she was a warrior queen. So, true, we use the drum, and we know that she was a great drummer. Play a drum for four or five hours at a time. But the warrior queen, Naya Bingi, is really where the idea came from. It was a warrior lady, you know. We do a lot of, a lot of fight physically from the back of the field. To, to protect the, the tradition of black people, not even Rastaf and all, you know, but black people. That lady, as far as I know, is a, the one that comes with equal rights and justice to everyone, you know? I and I could uh, have a, a, a tradition you know, by the name of Naya Bingi. Queen Naya Bingi rise up against the colonial powers. She, she was a mystic. Hmm? And it is said that she the defender of the poor and the oppressed. That's basically it. Just like Naya Bingi order. Because in, in early Jamaica in the 1920s, it was a colonial rule at that time. So Rastafari rise up through anti-colonial struggle of total oppression in the 1920s come right down to now. So we could easily identify with the struggles of Queen Naya Bingi and related to Jamaica in that colonial era. The Rastafari bridging them, so well, we use Naya Bingi. With, at the time, they used to say Naya Bingi means dead, the white oppressor. And after a while, they changed it, the black and white oppressor. In those days, Rastafari couldn't chant like here. It had to be in some deep bush. And it wasn't something built pretty like this. It was just a stick with a tarpaulin. But it was somewhere where you had to really walk and go. There was no special place that we used to chant. All of us come together and one bridge would say, you know I'm on host the, the foundation of the gates. You know, so the next bingy they would uh, pit for and you would tell him and he would tell somebody else and then we'd reason together and say, when we going? So well, it's Friday night, we're going, going. So where we're going to meet? All right, make we meet downtown at four o'clock and we take a bus and, and groups would go together. I would just go there like two or three days before. I would just chuck up a thing, I would just chant. So you would hear the drums from a distance and you know say, are we getting close? 
every other parish, every other time, um, gathering time. So each parish would get a bingy this month and whatever the month is, that will be a celebration month. Have you ever heard 2,000 people singing? Okay, well that is how the Rastafari liberty was. At night time, we'd go check Naya Bingy, you know? And it, it was, you can't find words for, for that, that feeling because it was totally different. You get herb, food, care, advice, counsel, free heart. It was so great that uh, it was surprising. I never knew Rasta worship in such a holy manner. It's like a spiritual blitz, you know? Something you never encountered before, you encountered for the first time. It's like, it's like a mind-blowing situation. It's a mystical thing. It made me feel like I'm in the beginning of time again, you know? And it really took my mind off for the pressures of the world. You know, we just we just sit here, you know, we just we just gone like for three days, you know, four days, you know, with the Naya Bingi grounds, you know, and you know, we eat, we sleep, you know, we're fresh there. Really put my mind back in time where, you know, it's just about praising the Almighty and not so much caught up in the world. It's like a break from the world. My first experience at Bingi was like similar to astral traveling. Is a vibration that brings you to a celestial height. You know, you see me? You see me? So it brings you to the pinnacle of your highest point of yourself, the highest point of your intelligence. The drumming, the mood, the singing was nothing I've ever experienced before. And I, it has never left me. I have always said to myself that later on in life, I'm going to have to go settle back into some of that. You know, it's a spiritual inspiration that it needs. The, 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 the experience of every human being. Many things, Naya Bingi is really a university because you learn how to hunt in terms of going to get the firewood for the fire. You learn about preparation in terms of getting the grounds ready. You learn about family in terms of sharing. You learn about togetherness. You know, so to I, you know, what Naibingi can teach you is, is a movement of life. So it's a, in a self-building, more heretical, in tune with aeration. It's a spiritual vibe, you know, so it's a spiritual growth. If you're a weak person, you can't stay into a bingy. If you're not a spiritual person, because the fire key is there, it's a purging fire. So the bingy alone, you have a fire at the altar, which is inside, and you have a fire outside. Bingy is a cleansing fire. Plus the beats now make your soul, your spirit lift to a different level. And you look internally. Whatever hatred or bad feelings you have, you come in a bingy, that's gone. There's something about the drumming, you know, that wakes up something internally. The connection is dear, spiritual, you know, and um, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you check our stack, it's really the king's music, you know, because if you trad anywhere else in other world, it's only I and I alone make drum that way. Then. So now you bring the drum. It's a special job. It's three drums. Bass, funde, and, and, and the repeater. The repeater is a sharp instrument that teaches us one that tells you what's going on. The funde is one that tells you to do good. Do good to mankind, do good to everybody. So this one just hold the funde, it's saying do good to the people. But the bass is a heartbeat. A thunder bass, it's a two big bass, not a small one, you know, massive bass. Hmm? So when it rises your consciousness, rise your blood pressure, if we have a low blood pressure, gone up. The three instruments reminds you of who you are and where you came from, your Africanness.
out of Nairbing, you really create reggae. You know, the one to art beat there. That's where, you know, reggae really comes from. It's the beginning of the, of the music that's in it. Because the bingy, the Nairbingy, the all that, you know, is where all of the music comes from. You know. What them call art beat? They do cook. Uku, uku. Them up here now being right there, so now you can, you can go there. You know? So that's where the whole thing comes from. The Naya Bingi drumming, you know, the one, two, heartbeat drop. Uh, that was the development of rock steady leading into reggae, where the music kind of slowed down from the fast up tempo of mentor and skia till it slows down with the rock steady and then even gets slower with the reggae. Naya Bingi, with him. Heart, the rhythm, heart beat. Yeah, it's the truth. Rastafari yeah. music. Yeah. Which from that music come all music. And we're going to read Psalm 9 with the understanding that this is a coronation psalm. That when His Majesty was crowned 1930, this is what everyone chants. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most time. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish. Well, Bridging used to create chant, but enough of this chant was used out of the Bible. A lot of Rasta and Indus time was influenced by the Bible. The chant which they sung, sung were chants which I knew from the Baptist Church. I knew from the revival camp, you see, choruses and things like those, hymns, sankis. I knew all of these hymns and sankis because my grandpa was a deacon. A lot, lot of the chant them, them changed around the words, but it's the same sanki, the same Bible doctrine. I wasn't a Bible person. I never know Rastafari to read and write. I know it to the genes and spirituality. Uh, I was from that time to this time, and the same time as I see a So a lot of one, even the Rastafari movement, even until now, a lot of bridging them was influenced through the Bible. You know, and this Bible, I never see I listen last year in I. Naya Bingi is, is a path, it's like a road. You know, the chanting is like a road that takes you someplace. Based on how genuine you are to the chanting, it, you know, that's like a fuel. You, have, you know, some people more into it than others. The persons that are more into it go far on the journey. Things time when people gather, so something negative usually come out of it. The fact that the concept of coming together just to do good, no buying, no selling, no rush, no you know timing, no nothing. Just gather, show love, share food, eat, praise the most high, and then you go back into the world. <laughs> Anyone that knows or has experienced years of I have been in life will only tell you about pleasure, about happiness and about love. The warm current of love that Rastafari share. I, I don't know how the one them see it still, but we have to just learn to love ourselves. And if we love ourselves, everything will come after. Oh, yeah.